All across the country, off-leash dog parks are becoming more and more popular. Although they vary in size and amenities, they all share the same purpose, to give dogs a place where they can run freely and socialize with other dogs. If you've never taken your four-legged pal to the park for a romp, you may want to give it a try. But before you do, take a look at our next segment as Sarah talks to animal behaviorist Carrie Williams about a few things you might want to consider before you pack up your pooch and head to the park. Carrie, we're here at the dog park today, and if you've noticed, dog parks seem to be um, this new popular thing. Talk about why you think that might be. They really are. They've become a lot more popular. Um, dog parks are a place for people to come and socialize and uh, bring their dogs to have a good time and be social and interact, and it's really become a really popular uh, scene. It is. Even for people. It kind of brings the community together. We can kind of uh, bond on a common level of love for our dogs. Do you notice any downsides with dog parks? Maybe things that people should be aware of if they, if they decide to take their dog to one? There are a few things that you want to be concerned about uh, that you want to watch for and just practice caution. Of course, always when you arrive at the dog park, you always want to have your dog on the leash. Um, you always want to be in the position of leadership with your dog. Um, so the first, the first tool in my kit, so to speak, would be um, a position of leadership, calm, assertive leadership. If you notice a dog that's a little more um, aggressive or excitable, excited, um, you just want to be aware of that. You always want to be um, attentive to, to um, the other dogs in the park and, and your dog. Well, with that being said, is there dog park etiquette, so to speak? You know, things that people need to think about before they bring their dog to a dog yes, park? Definitely. If, if your dog um, at, at home tends to exhibit any kind of aggression, uh, aggression when company comes over or, or, or food ag aggression toward people or other dogs, um, you'd want to consult a professional before you brought the dog out into a social atmosphere with people or dogs. Right. What about choosing a dog park. I know there are a variety, you know, all around town. How do you know which dog park is right for you? I've been to several of them around town and they all have their unique qualities to offer. Of course, in Overton, it's, it's shady. That's one good quality in the summer. Um, uh, Shelby Farms has a big lake for dogs mm -hmm. to swim in and kind of a wider open space. Um, so they all pretty much have good qualities. Carrie, you brought some stuff with you today, some things that you, some people might want to think about bringing to a dog park when they go. Kind of go through these items that you brought. Yes, okay. The first tool in your toolkit will be calm, assertive leadership. So you always want to be the calm, assertive leader. After that, um, the leash. The leash is always needed. Even though you're taking your dog off the leash once you get into the actual dog park, you always want to have control of your dog with uh, for safety. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, there's the microfiber towel. Oh, yeah. Whenever you take your dog to the park, there's mud, there's dirt, there's water. Yes. It's a mess. Uh, these absorb a lot of water and dirt. Also carry, like, I usually have at least two towels in my car. Uh -huh. um, and then also throws to go over your seat right. covers in your car. Especially if you end up at a park with a lake or a pond and yes. your dog's a swimmer. Okay. Right. <laughs> Um, toys, toys for the dog park. If your dog enjoys um, fetch, various toys. Now this is interesting. What is this? I, I found this um, is a great water bowl. It folds up really small, and then it opens up into oh, that's so a cool. Large, deep, and lightweight. Um, it's handy, washable, machine washable. And the other thing is, this is a spray can. It actually it sprays nothing but air. Oh, so okay. it just makes a sound. Okay. Oh. And I use this to to get dogs' attention. It's just a, it's a loud right. noise. It's, it's it interrupts their train of thought or okay. their their mindset. That's a good idea. So if they if you do see them kind of get a little escalated, right. or if there's a dog that's um, that's a, you know aggressive toward your dog, mm -hmm. then you can use this to break up a fight. And or it's just interrupt. air. Mm -hmm. It's just Very air. Cool. And then the one other thing for the dog park kit uh -huh. would be this handy little wrist wallet. Oh, nice. I love these. Um, it's for doggy bags. Perfect, because I so, never know where to put those. Speaking That's of perfect. etiquette, yes, you always want to have, as a, as a responsible dog owner, you always want to have bags on you. That's and perfect. I love these little wrist wallets because they're kind of stylish. Uh -huh. They kind of disappear into an outfit. And there you go. You've got I love your it. bags. That's so. perfect. 
Well, Carrie, thank you so much for coming out today and really giving us the inside scoop on dog parks and why they can be a lot of fun for people. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks so much for asking me.